today we're going to be learning about reptiles. <gasps> we're going to be talking all about what makes a reptile a reptile and also how we care for our reptiles here at the park. We're learning about living reptiles. Reptiles are vertebrates. What's a vertebrate? Really? So vertebrates are animals that are in the phylum chordata, which means they have a backbone or some sort of cord that helps support their skeletal system. I don't think I have one. Y you do. It's there. Reptiles, like most animals, have eyelids. Snakes do not have any eyelids. Instead, they have a clear scale that covers their eyes. It's been ah! three hours! You're not gonna win. I had her! They don't have eyelids. Oh. Reptiles, for the most part, lay eggs in a nest. However, some species of snakes and lizards have eggs that hatch inside the mom. This resembles live birth. Reptiles are covered in dry, waterproof scales. Most reptiles shed their skin in flakes. However, snakes shed their skin all at once and it comes off inside out, like when you take your sock off at night. Or your shirt. Wait a minute, that's my shirt. No it's not. Yeah it is. No, it's not. Give it back. Most reptiles have ear holes instead of ears that stick out. Snakes are an exception to this. They have internal ears that actually feel vibrations rather than picking up sound. Reptiles are ectothermic. This means that they're cold-blooded and their body temperature is not regulated internally. So they're always a different temperature. That means if they want to warm up, they have to sit in the sun. Reptiles include snakes, tortoises and turtles, lizards, and crocodilians. This is Lancelot. He's an Aldabra tortoise. Aldabra tortoises can live to well over 100 years. This species of tortoise is native to Aldabra Island, just off the coast of Madagascar. They'll roam different habitats, from mangrove swamps to grasslands, grazing and browsing for grass, leaves, and plants. These tortoises have actually been observed standing on their hind legs to reach leaves hanging from trees. A biologist who observed this behavior dubbed them the ninjas of the tortoise world. Lance is estimated to be in his 90s and he arrived at Lion Country Safari in 1969. He's about 700 pounds and his shell is between 4 and 5 feet long. Lance is the largest of our Aldabra tortoises and enjoys roaming his habitat in the first section of the safari. I'm Cody Hodes and I'm one of the reptile keepers here at Lion Country Safari. Well, the first thing about taking care of any animal is knowing its individual history and uh, natural history as well. Um, that being uh, knowing the temperament of the animal and maybe knowing what regions the animal comes from. Um, so simply checking the humidity and temperature every day that's uh, needed for the animal. It's uh, very key in keeping it nice and comfortable. Um, they're cold-blooded, so they constantly need warm temperatures, so we use UVB lights during the day so they get all the uh, actual key ingredients that the sun will give them, while also giving them heat lamps at night to still keep them warm. All our snakes here receive a carnivore diet, so they get anything from a small mouse to a large rabbit uh, once to twice a week. As for most of our tortoise, turtles or iguanas, we feed them an herbivore diet, so they get anything from lettuce to uh, any kind of vegetables that we may have. All of our outside exhibits that include reptiles are cleaned daily. We make sure to rake it, make sure all the feces are picked up, and make sure to definitely have water every day. All of our reptiles are kept behind the scenes that are used for programs. We make sure they are spot cleaned daily. Make sure they have nice substrate, they are clean so they can crawl around wherever they like, and they are disinfected regularly once a month, with a complete breakdown of substrate and new props for them to hide in. I try not to pick favorite animals, but uh, I've definitely always had an affinity for lizards. Thor here is one of my favorite of that species. Uh, he is a rhinoceros iguana. Uh, although he is a wild animal, we have uh, developed a pretty great relationship over the couple months that I've been working here. Well, my zookeeping career started with a simple love for animals. Uh, I knew I always wanted to work with them, 
and um, I actually found an incredible program at Santa Fe College Teaching Zoo where I was able to take classes at a zoo uh, while also getting work experience in a real actual AZA zoo. I'd say my favorite part of my job is actually just being happy with the job that I have. Uh, I've always wanted an outside job working with animals and I got exactly what I wanted in it. So today we learned about many different reptiles and their adaptations and how we take care of them here at Lion Country Safari. Yes, Chelsea, dinosaurs were reptiles too. Yay!